Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. We're camping here at Illinois Beach State Park. It's uh, the first weekend here in November, so basically November 3rd, 2024. Um, we got our favorite site, Site 316, right along the lake shore. Let show it to you. Right by the lake. The nice thing about the walk site walk is you got your own private walking path to the walking path that goes along the lake shore and to the beach. I'll shut this off for now and I'll Turn you guys back on when I get to the beach. Alright, here's the lake. Here's a walking path. Here's a little back at the campsite. It's around 5 o'clock at night. Or 5 o'clock in the afternoon, wherever we want to call it. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but they got uh, barges out there. Apparently, I guess, about 100 yards out or so, they're actually, you can kind of see over there, they're actually putting rocks in there, I guess, to help avoid beach erosion as much as possible. Alright, we're gonna head back to the campsite. Alright, we need soft tacos for dinner tonight. Haven't had that in a while. And uh, I just cooked it over this one burner colon butane stove. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and dig in and uh, we'll talk to you guys after eight. Oh, welcome back, guys. Oh, finally got some food in my belly. And just got done with taking a shower. Got my uh, towel hanging up here. Um, in my uh, Cabela's Instinct 10x10 tents, I have three of these. And there's like one here, another one here, another one here. And these are basically for like, um, if you're camping in like a open field on a windy day, or even if it's just windy, um, you can put these across like that. And, uh, Basically, what it does it gives it gives, makes the tent more rigid, so it it won't blow around as much. Um, yeah, and I uh, got my little, uh, little lantern string lights going on here, and when I get fire going here, now how I start my fire is I just use regular old cotton balls, and basically what I do is all about the flu or you yeah, know open up the flu open up the uh vent in front and you don't need to soak these in gasoline or anything like this just use them straight up out of the package just like the cotton balls Yeah, let's give that a minute and see what happens. Alright, everybody. Got the fire going. It's going pretty good. Pretty soon it'll uh, go in a little bit better. And uh, it'll warm up the box to the point where this uh, little fan here will start kicking in. And the nice thing about this is this fan doesn't operate on batteries or anything like that. It's the actual heat um, causes like... Uh, a, not exactly sure how it works, but basically, yep, see, there he goes. Basically, the heat melts the metal and it does something that causes the spin, which helps uh, move around the air in the tent to keep warm and all that stuff. And uh, I might have to add some more cotton balls to it. But yeah, these are the type of cotton balls I use. Just a regular bag of cotton balls that I had to buy at Meyer. I'm sure you probably get them at your local grocery store and all that stuff, too. Um, you're not that expensive. I think I bought these for like a dollar fifty a bag. I think, 
Um, and yeah, that's that's what I use. I'll check back in with you guys in a minute. All right, there we go. We got it going. Getting nice and warm in here now. Oh, uh, I need a current air outside the air temperatures are about 45 degrees right now and going it's supposed to get down to like the lower to mid 30s tonight and uh tomorrow is actually supposed to be mostly cloudy let me shut this down and yeah and it's basically just keep an eye on it when it starts getting cool again and then i'll uh add some more wood and i'll check back with you guys in a little bit Alright, got the fire going really good now. The fan is blowing. It's putting out some pretty good heat now. Whew. Even I had to take my car right off. Just wanted to talk to you guys real quick about something. Turn the camera around so you can see me. Uh, I just mostly want to talk about my channel real quick. Um, I mostly want to keep my channel about camping and the outdoors and all that stuff. Every once in a while, I'm going to mix something mix it up a little bit uh what i mean by that is um a month from tomorrow so today's november 4th so on the summer th uh sunday december 3rd uh the wife and i are gonna be going to the philippines for about two weeks um so every once in a while i'll do like a trip like that um with that i have inside if i want to do like a long movie like like an hour hour and a half long video or just make it break it up into two or three parts more than likely i'll probably pick up two or three parts um because i want my channel mostly to be about camping but every once in a while i'll mix up every once in a while and make it uh make it just like that going abroad you know it won't be every year probably be like every other year every year and a half or so but i just want to let you guys know about that um i'll check back with you guys in a little bit Maybe I'll take a, a, another walk by the lake shore uh, before I go out of bed. See you guys in a little bit. All right, everyone. It's a little after midnight. Sorry I didn't get a chance to go walking around. It's kind of dark around here. It really wasn't much to see. Um, no, my alarm set for around 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. And get up and hopefully take a walk around. See you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It's about uh, quarter to 7 in the morning. Got a beautiful sunrise this morning. Sleep was eh, okay. I think they're doing construction over in the lake, doing part of that uh, shoreline preservation project, and they did it right in the middle of the night, so they kept waking me up. And it sounds like they're still doing it. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but yeah, let's go take a look at the sunrise. Got a beautiful sunrise from my spot. Um, let's go go check check out the sunrise and go check out uh, what they're doing in the lake. Welcome back guys, Just catching the beautiful sunrise over the lake. And I don't know if you can see them down here, but yeah, they're, they're going hard. These are the guys I heard at like 1, 2, 3 o'clock this morning. Oh, I can wake up to this every morning. As you can see, all the uh, construction equipment and all the rocks here along the beach. I'll take a quick walk over here, show you guys what's uh, what's going on. See, they're totally redoing the beach, and they're putting up these uh, stone walls to help with the beach erosion. I guess what you're gonna do this kind of stuff you do it this time of year and after the uh, summer season is over. Looks like they're taking a break for now. 
I'm assuming they're probably waiting for the next load of stone. All right, guys, I'm going to walk back to the uh, site and make some coffee. We'll see you back in the site. Oh, that's a cup of coffee. Enjoying this beautiful view while having a cup of coffee. If you enjoy this view before I pack it up and go home for the day. And in two weeks I'll be doing another camping adventure at Ottawa Lake near Waukesha, Wisconsin. Hope you guys can join me for that one. But I'll talk to you guys again before I leave. Hi everyone, got the uh, got my car all packed up and ready to head home. It's about uh, quarter after ten here on Sunday, November fifth. Um, I'll probably download this. I'm hoping to get this downloaded probably either today or next weekend. Um, and then in two weeks, I'll be going to I don't like state park. Um, and then two weeks after that. Uh, I go to my trip to the Philippines and uh, like to take you guys along in that uh, if you guys like me um, like to come along um, if you like this kind of garbage please subscribe and hit that like button until the next adventure you guys take care and I'll see you guys in the next adventure okay, I'll just take a quick drive around real quick on my way out how busy it was this weekend it's always good to see people coming go camping it's always good to see This is always a section of park I like to call pine meadows because a lot of these tall pine trees. And over here you got another shower house. That's the nice thing about this park, it has two shower houses. But they close this one for the winter time and they keep the other one open. section here. 
shower house if you keep open. Alright guys, 